So what's the difference between an OAP and an OAD? Well, we're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Lightens, manufacturers of the original OAD pulley. Visit lightensaftermarket.com for more information. The alternator pulley is changing. It's becoming more and more rare on a new vehicle that you'll actually see a solid pulley on the alternator. What you're gonna see is a vibration control alternator pulley, and they come in two flavors. An OAP, or overrunning alternator pulley, well, it's basically a one-way clutch that lets the alternator freewheel when the engine is decelerating. It is a very simple device, and it can wear out over time. An OAD, or overrunning alternator decoupler, is a little bit more complex and has more parts inside. Inside an overrunning alternator decoupler pulley is a spring and a clutch. The internal OAD spring absorbs the torsional vibration input from the engine. The spring helps to dampen the small changes in movement of the flywheel itself as it's going through the different power pulses of the engine. This way it helps to smooth things out and makes for a very quiet belt drive system. The OED pulley, well the clutch inside, it's going to wear out after a while and it's highly recommended when you're replacing the belt on the vehicle that you also replace the OAD along with the tensioner too. But Make it part of your mindset the next time you're doing a drive belt system inspection that you not only look at the belt, but look at everything underneath the hood that's connected to the belt. There are a lot more service opportunities than there were over two decades ago or even a decade ago. So make sure you're performing a proper inspection on the decoupler pulley and also the tensioner. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.